Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your RAM. Uh, I have a guide with six steps. We will start by the easiest step and after that it will be a little <laughs> more complicated, but it's still easy to do and it will help you a lot with your performance when you're gaming or whatever if you're doing application and stuff like that. First of all, it's pretty easy, your update. Make sure you're doing your update. Uh, you can do whatever tweaking, but honestly, the first thing that you need to do, check for update, make sure that your us is updated, all your driver, it will help you a lot. You will make sure that you have the latest build to have the latest process and make sure that Windows will manage your comp computer properly. Second thing is your uh, mobile. Uh, depending which computer that you have, you will have a, a lot of different like uh, update for, for example, the BIOS. For me on my AMD one, it was really important. AMD update the Ajiza uh, 1.0.04B, the latest one, but you have a couple other one. It was uh, improving my boost clock for my CPU, improving compatibility for my RAM, improving my XMP compatibility, so overclocking my RAM. So really important to do that if uh, you have like a really old version and you feel that you're having issue with your computer. Uh, sometimes people are saying don't touch it if it's not break, but broke, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really important to do it. You will gain some nice optimization over there. The other thing that you can do, it's um, driver, the chipset. Again, on the AMD one, really important. Those Ryzen uh, chipset updates give you more boost clock, better um, the way that they manage the energy to your uh, to your CPU to have better boost clock and also the way they manage the RAM with it. Really important to do those updates. The third step. Third step is the auto start. Really important. Control Alt Delete. Click Task Manager. Go to Startup. This is all the app that are starting when you're launching your computer. So you can filter them by status. Enable means they are currently running. Disable, you're not running those uh, application when you're launching your computer. So really important because a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily use and it's taking RAM. So you want to disable them. So for example, Xbox Auto Start, Origin, Galaxy Client Service for me, Overwolf Launcher, Epic Game Launcher. Those, I don't want to use them. So look at your list. And if you don't you don't use that, that program when you're launching your computer, just disable it. And if you want to use it later, just open it, uh, like you double click on it and open your software. If you don't know what it what is it, uh, Google it first because you don't want to disable like drivers. For example, Logitech here, this is the LG Hub. It's managing my uh, headset, uh, my mouse and stuff like that. So if you're not sure what is it, Google it before disabling. So that's about it for the auto start. The other thing that's uh, kind of important, control panel, go to system. After that, uh, advanced system setting, advanced settings, and advance again and click change. So this is the virtual memory, step four of the guide. This one is more like for people who just have four gig of RAM or even eight gig, you can create virtual memory on your computer. Uh, it's not that great because you're, it will take your, for, for an example, your hard drive and your hard drive doesn't have the same speed that your RAM. But still, if you don't have a lot of memory, you need to figure out some solution and this one can be uh, good for you. So uncheck the automatically manage page file size for all drive, page fi paging file, sorry. After that, click custom size. So here you need to put initial size and maximum size. We will put the same amount of meg over there. So I will do an example for uh, someone who has only four gig of RAM. So open a calculator. So first of all, one gig is 124 meg. So you want to multiply by that. So if you have four gig, you want to have double. So four gig uh, multiplied by two equal eight. So you want to do 1 gig multiply by 8. You will have 8192 and you want to add that to your paging file. Like this. Press OK. It will ask you to restart your computer and just restart your computer. If you have only 8 gig, do the same thing. Uh, 1024 multiply by 16 because you want the double of 8 and add the proper value where I just show you. 
For me, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so it's not an issue for me. So I will just go to automatically manage page file size uh, for all my drive. When you do that, also make sure that you're um, you're using your um, the best hard drive that you have. So if you have an SSD, use it over an hard, a normal hard drive. Really important, you want the, the fastest one when you're doing the virtual memory thing. So now we're gonna click it. So now the EXMP, XMP profile. Um, first of all, you need to know that sometimes when you buy a RAM, they will tell you, oh, the RAM is compatible at 3,200 megahertz. But when you put them on your computer, it will be by default at 2,133. You need to activate the XMP profile. This is more for like desktop, gaming computers, some laptop also, but not necessarily everyone will have this option. So I just want to mention uh, it's a special option that you will have on your uh, mobile. Uh, so motherboard. So as you can see here, uh, I have to just kill a gig over there. I activate the XMP profile. So now my fr frequency is 3200. So that's pretty good. And also you want to make sure that your RAM is running in dual channel to make sure that it's running in dual channel. Look at your uh, document that's come with that that is coming with your um, your motherboard and it will tell you which uh, slot to use. So in that case, it was A1 and B1. So normally when you look at my board, you will see a RAM, a space, another RAM and a space. So this is to run the uh, dual mode. If you want to make sure you don't want to go to your um, your uh, BIOS and you want to see on your computer what you're currently running, use CPU-Z, open it, and with CPU-Z you will see first of all are you running dual channel and also what is the megahertz of your memory. So here the channel is dual so it's good and also my frequency is 108 on uh, 1800 so that's pretty good uh you need to do for an example if you have two ram uh two stick you need to do two multiply by this so the total is 3600 so this is matching my build the other print screen that i show you it's another computer mine is uh i'm using a ryzen 300 900 x with 32 gig of ram so this is to make sure that when you're running your windows everything is fine with your frequency your timing and your channel so that's about it. The last step is your process. So click here, the small arrow, and you will see all your the software that you're currently using. So for example, if you don't want your MSI afterburner, you know, uh, I'm not using it, close some process over there. It will help you a lot with your RAM. Everything is taking resources. And really important, Google Chrome. Don't let Google Chrome open when you're playing your video games. It's crazy. Sometimes it's taking like 600 meg of RAM just to run, run one tab. So don't like watch a stream, watch a YouTube video when you're playing. If you just have four gig or even eight gig of RAM, uh, close everything. Just open your game. Really important. If you have any question, guys, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, what type of RAM that you have and what type of issue. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.